this week on Engage the Sage. Hi everyone, I'm Don Sauce here. Welcome to this week's episode of Engage the Sage. This week, I'm going to talk to you about thinking about your classroom as an oasis. For me, I'm getting to the point of the semester where things are getting a little bit chaotic. I'm tired. My students are tired, and I might even find myself getting a little grumpy this time of the semester. In the midst of all this chaos, I think it's really important for me to think about my classroom as an oasis away from everything else. When I talk about the classroom as an oasis, I think it's important to understand that I'm talking about really valuing my teaching mission. I think teaching is the most important thing that I do as a professor. And I do a lot of other things too. I do, I do research, I do administration, I do service, I do a lot of other things. But I think teaching is the most important thing that I do. And the classroom is where I do that, be it a virtual classroom, be it an in-person classroom. The classroom is I get to do that very important thing. The classroom is the place where I get to share my content with my students. I get to help them learn the stuff that I find so deeply fascinating myself. When I come to class and I see it as an oasis, I'm going to bring peace with me. I'm going to come in and try to make that a really welcoming place for my students, an inclusive place for my students. But I'm also going to bring that preparation, that expertise, that authenticity, that caring, and that engagement to make my students have the most fulfilling experience they can while they learn as well as they can. So when I get tired, when my students are tired, when we're reaching that grumpy time of the semester, as I sometimes call it, it's important for me that I remember the privilege that I have to go in and teach in this oasis. So when I teach, I'm going to make this an oasis for myself to get away from all those other things, all the other personal, professional responsibilities and challenges that might be competing for my time and my emotional attention. I'm going to get away from that in the classroom. But I'm also I'm going to try to make my classroom an oasis for my students where they can get away from all of those personal and professional challenges and responsibilities and focus on learning with me. My students are tired. My students are stressed. My students have a million things going on. And if they made the choice to come to my class, I'm going to try to make that an oasis for them where we can focus completely together on learning. I'm going to strive to make this a safe place, a place where, where peace exists, a place where they feel welcome, a fa place where they feel like they belong and where their voices are going to be heard. And I'm going to strive every day to make it worth their while that they came to my class. I'm going to treat every class as an opportunity to validate them for making the choice to come. When my students come to class and they get to experience that oasis, I'm going to thank them. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be grateful that they made the choice to come and learn with me today. I'm going to give them opportunities to think deep, empowering thoughts. I'm going to give them opportunities to think critically about the content we're talking about. I'm going to give them the opportunity and encourage them to ask questions so they can take some ownership of their own education. And I'm going to try to bring content that is going to be meaningful to my students, both at a personal and a professional level. When I'm making decisions about what I teach, I teach what is important and what is interesting, and I'm going to make every day valuable for my students so they want to come to the oasis with me. And what that all means is that when my classroom is an oasis, for 50, 75 minutes, whatever, and me and my students get away from everything else and engage completely in our teaching and learning mission. Now, I acknowledge we might be at a time of the semester where this is hard to do. Might be time of the semester where that fatigue, that stress, that anxiety, that grumpiness is getting in the way. And me thinking warm, fuzzy thoughts about making my class a place where peace exists as an oasis for me and my students. But I'm going to try. And when I succeed, or even if I get close, making my classroom an oasis is going to be a win-win for me and my students. In the comments below, I would love to hear all the things that you do to make your class an oasis for you and your students. Thank you for watching this episode of Engage the Sage. Please like, subscribe, sign up for notifications, share us on social media, and we'll see you next time on Engage the Sage.